Look at that, that is just gorgeous. Very disco-like with all the, the lines on diagonal. Nice Nathan logo right down the middle. It looks fast, doesn't it? It looks fast. Well, it does look fast because it is fast. This is the Nathan Pinnacle 4 liter race vest. And that's what we're talking about today. Okay, before I get started telling you about this Nathan Pinnacle 4 liter race vest, I had just, spoiler, it's, it's a great vest. But I wanna tell you about the Nathan Vapor Air 7 liter vest that I reviewed a couple months ago. So when I ordered this, I ordered it in the same size as I ordered this. That was a mistake. As I found out the hard way and then I had to wait another week before I actually received the Pinnacle 4 liter race vest, this has the adaptive fit system. So in the Vapor Air 7 liter, I ordered an extra large and I was able to cinch it down because it's got these adaptive fit cords and accoutrement around the side. Felt really good. However, when I ordered the Pinnacle 4 liter race vest in extra large, I was swimming in it. And let me tell you why. This does not have the adaptive fit system. And there's a good reason for it. It's a race vest. It's supposed to be tight to your body. It's supposed to feel like you're wearing, I don't know, a wetsuit, a shirt, something that's just really tight that becomes part of you. And when I sent back the extra large and I got the medium, my running dreams came true. This thing just fits around my body like a glove. Just wanted to get that out there in the very beginning in case you saw my last video and you ordered that vest and now you want something a little lighter weight, something to move a little faster. You want it to fit just a little different from a regular hydration pack. Race packs will always fit a little tighter and that's what we want. So my friends, I'm actually pretty excited to tell you about this pack today, but um, let's, uh, when we wrap up our run, one more run, then we're gonna get into it. Tell you about some specs, tell you about how it feels. Best of all, tell you about the pockets. Telling you for us runners, hydration packs are like it's like a purse. The more pockets you have, the better. You know when you get a new purse and you have to go digging around, exploring, finding all the zippers and... Well, neither do I. But this is what I imagine that is like. Let's get into it. All right, my friends, I'm back. Okay, so usually I like to put at least 50 miles into a race pack before I give you my review. Just like shoes, when you're doing a shoe review, you have to put enough time in it so you know how it feels in different situations. Does it chafe anywhere? It takes time to learn those pockets and what you're gonna put in them. So this morning's run just wrapped up my testing period. Today's run was 17 and a half miles. I was out there for quite a while. And this Nathan Pinnacle four liter race vest performed like a champ. Putting it on now just so you guys can see and it just feels good. As soon as you put it on, it's like a, like a security blanket wrapping around you. Race packs generally don't come with hydration bladders. Now this Pinnacle 4 liter, it is compatible with a two liter hydration bladder. So I could just use one of my other Nathan reservoirs, throw it in the back. It's got the hollow shoulder straps, so you can just route the hose through the shoulder, come down and then look at this. Nathan, they, this isn't their first rodeo. Look at this. See this clip right here? It's a magnet. It is the magnet hydration system. So if I did have the hydration bladder in there, I would route the hose down through my shoulder. I would clip this little piece. Can you even see that? That little piece onto the, onto the hose. And then when I take a sip, I would just, it would just lock back into place with the magnet. Veterans of this channel are gonna remember how much I like magnets and how much I enjoyed that feature on the Vapor Air 7 liter. And it's here, it's here on the Pinnacle if I want it. But the Pinnacle 4 liter does come with two soft flasks. Here they are with these long hoses, pretty neat. These aren't just normal soft flasks. I mean, everyone has seen soft flasks. These are 20 ounce soft flasks, so they're not small, plenty big enough. And get this, you know how when you have a hydration pack and you've got a soft flask in there, let me just stick this in the pocket. Sometimes when you're drinking and the soft flask is getting emptier and emptier and it gets smaller and smaller, which is the real beauty of a soft flask. But sometimes, sometimes this soft flask can actually slip down into the pocket. Now you can see right here, I've got this long hose. I was kind of waving them around, trying to be funny. It's not funny, it's totally utilitarian because I can just reach over and drink my drink. So where was I? Oh yeah, I was talking about the soft flask slipping down into the pocket. Now on some previous hydration packs that I've used, the bottle has slipped down into it. It doesn't have one of these hoses and I'm left out on the run, fishing around in this pocket, trying to pull it out to get every last drop. Nathan thought of that, look at this. It's called the exospine. Can you kind of, focus on the bottle for a second. Kind of see this, it's a very thin metal kind of bar. I don't know if it's metal, it's probably plastic. But either way, it's the exospine and it gives a little rigidity to this bottle. The same as every other soft flask, when you drink it, it does kind of lose 
volume, so it's nothing left in it, it doesn't take up any space once the liquid is all out of it, but you're never gonna lose it in your pocket because of the exospine. Absolutely brilliant. If you're a fan of Nathan Hydration Vest, then you've probably heard of the How or the Kra. Named after Stephanie How and Rob Kra, two absolutely, without a doubt, epic ultra runners. However, those vests are actually 20% heavier than this brand new Pinnacle 4 liter. So if you liked the How or the Kra, and believe me, they are wildly popular, the Pinnacle is gonna be for you, it's 20% lighter. In fact, according to Nathan's website, this Pinnacle 4 liter race vest weighs about 0.3 pounds or a shade under 142 grams. Obviously, I keep saying the name, the Pinnacle 4 liter, and that is based on the amount of stuff that you can carry. You can carry four liters, which if you're wondering how many cubic inches, it's 244 cubic inches of space. More than enough to get the job done. The Pinnacle 4 liter vest is unisex sizing, so men, it is gonna fit you just as well as it does women. I wanna show you the back. The back is cut a little longer so it just it just hangs down a little further which is absolutely epic not just for aesthetic purposes but because you can hold more stuff and holding stuff that is where we're going next that is this is the best part this is the best part of this whole video this is where I'm going to show you the pockets best is made of 82% polyester 5% spandex 8% nylon and 2% rubber wire. Now obviously the rubber wire is right here on the front, these kind of rails. This is where the clip system hooks to and you can slide those up and down just to make the fit even better. So just like we do with shoes, we are gonna start at the top. We're gonna work our way down. Let's start at the very top with the giant pocket in the back. Now this is where you are gonna keep your hydration reservoir. Right behind the hydration reservoir pocket we have, it's difficult to show you on the camera, but there is one pocket on the top that kind of comes down, oh, I don't know, to the H in Nathan, so it's from the top to the bottom of the H. You know, when I think about it, I'm not sure what I would actually put in that pocket. Maybe I could reach back and put gloves or a hat if I take them off when I'm running. Maybe some nutrition, some bars that I don't immediately want, but I may want later on. Maybe like an emergency first aid kit, something small that I can just toss back there. I mean, I'm not knocking it, just because I can't think of what the ideal thing to put in this pocket is, doesn't take away from the fact that it's a pocket and you can carry more stuff. That's what we want, that's why we're wearing a vest. Next, we're gonna come to the bottom of the vest. Now on the left side, the left side you can actually reach around and access this on the fly. This is kind of like a little kangaroo pocket and we can see my hand going in. I'm, gonna, I'm putting my hand in so you can see actually how big it is. It takes up about half the side panel of the vest. I think you can probably see my fingers rolling around. It's kind of like a diagonal pocket. This is where I'd probably store a windbreaker. You know, one of those really small jackets that packs up really small. You can stuff it in there. Again, probably reach back, store some gloves, store a hat. And actually this morning I was running with a GoPro and I actually had my GoPro on a little shorty selfie stick. Just kind of stuck in there. Then I close it with a the Velcro. Then when I want it, just kind of pull it out. Okay, this next pocket could be my favorite. No, it's not my favorite, but it's still, it's up there. Of the 12 pockets, it's very difficult to, to put them in order of what your favorite is. This is one of my favorites, maybe not my favorite. We'll get to my favorite in a second. So this next pocket, it's on the opposite side to that last kangaroo pocket. Let me come around and show you. So this is the pocket that I was telling you that I had my GoPro in and kind of reach back and show you the same place in my hand. But there's another one on the other side. This one on the other side, the compartment goes all the way up to the top. And this is the pocket that Nathan says is good for bigger items. So if you had a bigger jacket, maybe some other layers that you were taking with you on a race. Nathan even says that this is where you would keep your trekking poles. Again, I don't have trekking poles. Not really too much need for them here in Florida. But what I do have, as a running YouTuber, that is something that is I usually bring out on most of my runs. And I wanna show you just the back again before I pull it out, because this pocket is actually big enough for me to hold a camera on a selfie stick. So all I have to do is kind of jam it up in that pocket, pull it out, boom. I'm good to go, got my selfie stick, got the camera. When I'm done, put it away. And it is that easy to just stick it up inside and it's totally secure in the back. It answers a, a pretty big question for me as a running content creator where I go out and I wanna film my runs. It's like, do I wanna hold on to this selfie stick the whole time? No, no one does. This vest answers that question. Now, there's a lot of vests. I've tested a lot of hydration vests. And most of the time, I can usually jam the selfie stick kind of inside between my body and the pack. But it's very difficult to put the selfie stick with the camera on the end in the large pocket behind, because that's usually the only place it would fit. It is much easier to have the pockets that are accessible from the bottom of the pack because obviously I can just reach right here and pull it out. 
It really is a piece of cake. Guess what really makes it ideal is that the pocket is accessible from the bottom. Okay, moving on, moving on. We've got 12 pockets. We've got to, we've got to keep moving on this. We have two pockets. We have one on each side. You can see it right here. It's kind of open to the top. It closes very tight just because the vest is so tight to my body. So nothing's gonna fall out of it. But I've got one pocket right here and then another one right on the other side. This is where I would hold additional gels. Maybe I'd keep gels in one side and then when I use the gels, I'd put the rubbish in the other side. They're big enough to hold a small bar or whatever kind of nutrition that you're carrying with you on the runs. Okay, moving on, moving on to the front. These two large front pockets, they are exactly the same. They are big enough to hold this 20 ounce bottle. It just sticks right in. And then this hose that's, that's waving around, it's held in place by this little cord. So it's not, you know, smacking you in the chin as you're running. It's held in place. On top of the bottle pockets, we have two pockets with kind of, they're held together with Velcro, but they have elastic on them. I actually really like these pockets for, this is where I kept gels on my run this morning. I would also put my sunglasses, just kind of sit them in there because the Velcro keeps it nice and tight. Now, we were just talking about favorite pockets and I'm about to show you my favorite pockets. So if you've been standing up this whole time, now is the time to sit down because I'm about to blow your mind. Of course, if you saw my video of the Vapor Air 7 liter, you know what's coming. We're talking waterproof pockets. Look at this, on each side, underneath the bottle pockets, we have two, two zippers. Here they are, these little things, two zippers. And when you pull it down, you have a waterproof pocket right inside. Why would anyone want a waterproof pocket? I don't know. Perhaps you have stuff that needs to be kept waterproof. Of course, nowadays we all have waterproof phones, but why risk it? These are by far, by far my favorite pockets. Having something that I know is waterproof is just, especially here in Florida, when I'm getting soaked with sweat on every run, having a waterproof pocket is just a level of security that I'm really into. One more thing, I know I said that I use this pocket right here to hold my GoPro this morning, but this front pocket is also good. Let's say you didn't want the GoPro to get wet. I mean, it's a waterproof camera, so I guess it doesn't matter. But you can also keep your GoPro in one of these front pockets. It is big enough to stuff that in there. Don't we all want choices when it comes to storage? My friends, I have left this way too long in the video, but if you if you like this vest, if you like running with a hydration pack, if you like hearing about new running gear, go ahead and give this video a like. It just tells YouTube, you know what? This is a good video. Maybe you should send it out to other people that may find it useful. Also, if you're not subscribed, now would be a fantastic time to do that I post new running videos at least twice a week. Last of all, if you are looking to buy this Pinnacle 4 liter vest, I definitely give it my stamp of approval. I have linked to it in the show notes below. It is an affiliate link on Amazon. So if you buy it through that link, you don't pay anymore. It just gives a little kickback to me, a little commission, helps support the channel. My friends, be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.